All right, so I may do this lesson in more than one tab or send you this. And of course, I'll go back and send you a link of the song. There are so many songs I could do today. I really is going, oh, where do I start? But I thought I might start with this rhythm that we can apply to a song. Um, we've got a mixture here of some of the rhythms we've played before. Eighth notes. Remember, that's one and. We have quarter notes. Two three and then we have another group of eighth notes four and to count this whole measure together it would be one and two three four and now as you play that one and two like i'm committed to memory right now because i have to go over here all right so to play that before i get out the drum pad it's one and two three four and as you um, do your sticks my suggestion now remember i'm a mirror image of you so if you're if you're watching this video <laughs> this is my right hand okay on this side this is my left hand on this side so remember as i am going it may be the opposite sticks of you i could play it backwards but you know you got to learn eventually that when you're looking at somebody on Unless, you know, the video thing reverses it. Right hand, left hand. For you, if you see my ring today, you'll know this ring is on the right hand. I've got these rings on my thumb on my left hand. Now that rhythm, remember, it was eighth note, eighth note. So it was right, left, right, left, right, left. That's real important that you alternate the sticks. Right, left, right, left, right, left. And keep it close. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Notice how I'm holding the sticks. I'm not holding them by the ends. Hold them by the ends. It's hard to do this without looking like King Kong. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta have, like science wise, you gotta have what they call a fulcrum. Just fancy word for some has to stick out the back so you don't drop your stick. <laughs> now, if you hold it too far in, you got too much in the back, then it's hard to to do it right that way. I mean, you can play the rhythm, but that doesn't let you use your wrist for when we speed it up. So, I'd say a good rule of thumb is to have how wide is that? Two or three inches. Sticking out the bottom part of your stick, not no no amount and not you know too much. So it has to be really in an ideal situation about here. The other thing that's real important about how you hold your sticks is notice I've got my thumbs either here around it but not tight. I've got a little bit of space right here. That's important so you can move. And most importantly of all, I don't have my index finger on top of the stick. I see so many people want to play like this. Why is that bad? Well, you're pushing down with your pointer finger for one, which means also when you come up, it's going to pull back on your pointer finger, which is bad for your pointer finger. You won't be able to point at people anymore or pick your nose or whatever you do. So make sure you keep your pointer fingers around the stick it's really important for the health of your hands now that rhythm again right left right left right left right left right left right left one e and two and da. one e and two and da. or one e and two three four and one e two three four and did i just change it look at the board miss beth one and two, three, four and. One and two, three, four and. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Do that in the air. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Try it again. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Faster again. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Faster again. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Faster again, and here we go. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. That's 
special song is at stake. Butter up. It's on the Kill Bill soundtrack. 
It has no words. It's just a cool sounding song. All right, well, have some fun. I'll send that track as well.